They paid her so much, she took her glasses off. <laughs> what is this about? This is about her. Her, the artist. Now, this is a joke. This is a meme. <laughs> the artist, her, if y'all don't know who she is. Uh, well, look, she's an R&B singer. Y'all should get, y'all got to know who she is. Look her up if you don't. But she played Belle in ABC's Beauty and the Beast special. Oh, shit, for real? Yeah, she I did. Not know that. It was a live special. And she was on TV, yeah, playing Belle, right? Oh, shit, goddamn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Level up. These these uh, women artists, especially in the R&B space, I've been seeing a lot of them make these type of crossovers, and they're, they're killing that. I would like to see more of some of like, the male rappers and artists like do those type of crossovers these days. I'm not getting enough of it. Like, why, but why is this a story? Like, see the baby play like Scar and the Lion King or something? <sighs> Stop it, man. Stop it. Stop it. You, you... <laughs> Why is this a story, though? Why is this a story? That's the whole point of bringing this up. They pay her so much she took her glasses off. Her glasses are only a big deal because they're a part of her brand. Yeah, yeah. How did they become a part of her brand? She wore them again and again and again. Yeah. The same thing we talked about the other day. Something can be extremely simple and basic, but if you do it over and over again, you can turn it into a brand and you can make it more extraordinary than it actually is. And sometimes people overthink what an actual brand is. They think that, oh, I need to do some type of massive gimmick. I need to uh, figure out how to be bright and stand out in all these other ways. But literally just doing something repeatedly can be good enough. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It can be good enough. So. That's the main highlight that I got from this headline. Of course, you know, the shit's funny, actually. But the fact that it was something worth mentioning only comes from how well established her brand is. Is this the first time we've seen her without her glasses on? It's not. It's not? Okay. It's not. Okay. okay. Not at all. Because this is my first time seeing her without her glasses on. No, nah, man. Now <laughs> she... See? There it is, right? She... I went to her page, actually... And she actually has a couple pictures, maybe because of this, where she's taking her glasses off now. Like she's trying to get ahead of it. Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. I, mean, I would. See? Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn, I got to go. I don't, I don't think I follow her, bro. But I'm she gonna, does. I'm going to whip my phone out, man. Go on, throw it up. But yeah. she had like 10 million. She probably got 10 million in one. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, but she she still wears glasses, by the way. But now it's more alluding to the brand, and I love the way her did stuff because she walked people through yeah. her brand. She was first this mysterious artist. You literally do not know how they looked, how she looked at all. You all you knew was a silhouette. Yeah, right. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. People didn't know who the person was. She could have been black, white, whatever. Now you finally see her. But when you see her, she's in like these shrouded environments, right? It's dark. It's silhouette. So even though you understand it, okay, this is a black young lady. She got glasses on. She's in these environments. So it's still a little bit mysterious and you can't quite nail her face. People did like background and they like found out who she was um, as a kid, but she's still playing the game. And now as long as she's still playing the game and you know, she's playing the game, you're still in the game as yeah. you experience it. Right. Yeah. Then she start kind of taking away some of the dimmer environments. It might be a sunny day in LA in the video or something like that. Right. But she still got the glasses on. So she's still not letting you in all the way. Right. Slowly graduate. And now there's been quite a few moments in time at this point where yeah, no glasses. I'm out here just like a regular person. However, people aren't making as big of a deal. Her face car isn't as strong, which is probably what she desires, or at least that's, that's what comes with it. Mm. But she can always put the glasses on, and it creates this element of like the Clark Kent Superman effect, right? Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, I'm in that zone now. You know what type of time I'm in when I'm on that when I put my glasses on. So walking people through your brand experience, this is a perfect example of what I try to tell artists when it comes to trying to do everything at once versus giving yourself time to evolve. Let me take a quick second to say if you're an artist trying to blow your music up or if you're a manager, a music professional in general trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you and it's completely free. 
As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, we're not going to let everybody in forever. So the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. Having the confidence, go back to that confidence yeah. to know that things are strong. Things are real when you do them over time. And so many artists are thinking I have to go so big and make this massive oppression in a second and go viral and do everything at once. That's why they get paralysis analysis, right? That's why they get overwhelmed and thinking, man, I can't make this stuff happen. But, yeah. but the best cases are usually like her. Yeah, but every time I figure out how to make five years worth of decisions in three months. Facts. And then wonder why your, your heart about to give up, man. That's why you got to <laughs> chill out, bro. Like, we got time, man. Chill out. Chill out. Bro. Chill out. Yeah. Chill out. Nah, but it's, yeah, it's father, but they basically, so they basically built her like the weekend. Like they took a similar approach to early weekend. I didn't know that because I yeah. came in. When she was at least showing herself a lot more, that's what that's why I came into the, the story. Yeah. And then, yeah, like I said, this is my first time seeing her without the glasses on, so it's, I'm still taking it in right now. Okay, well, you, know <laughs> you you got the follow on her now, so you yeah. gonna, you gonna catch it every step of the way. Oh yeah, I'm in there. I might turn the post notifications on. You know I, <laughs> I got I feel like I got a lot of catching up, dude. You know what I'm saying? You find yourself in the DMs. I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like real, just random. But every now and again, I do shoot a shot at a random celebrity just to see if it happen. Just to see, just to see, because you never know, man. You know. Hey, you, know, you never know who watched the podcast. She could be watching right now. I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'll just find back. Hey, bro, I'm hoping for you. you Appreciate it. Saying? Thank you. I'm hoping for you. Thank you, man. Thank Look, you. I, I really do mean that. I would love <laughs> a 500K or her's boyfriend. I'm going to take that meeting with her's boyfriend if it's Ja'Cory. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were saying when I take 500K, I'll be her boyfriend. Nah, nah. Like, I think that's the same answer, though. Yeah, I was like, I'm definitely <laughs> taking the, <laughs> taking the be her boyfriend, bro. Easy. Hey, but we we, we might have <laughs> revealed your card too early, though, because now you're out here looking like a oh, like a trap. That's true. Damn. <laughs> I ain't mean to hurt if you hear that. I take it back. <laughs> it's just for the content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he only a dot for the content. He not a thought of real life. <laughs>